that are happening outside of the stock market and kind of some new technologies that you guys can check out, especially if you're an artist. I know that a lot of people who follow me on Instagram are into art. So I thought it would be a very cool like segue into this by talking about Ethereum. So anyways, one of the most popular sites is called Nifty Gateway and basically people drop art on put out their art over here and then there's like a limited amount of these pieces that are sold. People are buying them as digital assets. So at first it was kind of hard to wrap my head around this idea. I was just thinking like, whoa, people are spending like $300,000, a million dollars on a piece of artwork that's just a JPEG, right? But the more that I started to think about it and do research on it, I was just thinking like, wow, there's actually like people who are super rich and have a lot of money and don't really know what to spend their money on. Or there's people who actually genuinely like the artists and you know, they actually want to support them. So let's jump right into the art piece. So this is, this is one that I really like and it's really cool. And the thing I like about these art pieces is, is that they're like kind of like interactive and they put music to it and it's just like 3D. Oh yeah, so Mika, Mika Drew, Mika Drew. I'm probably pronouncing that super wrong. But this person saw this art piece for $1,000 and there's 1,402 editions minted, right? So he just basically made $1,400,000. So let's see what this is about. Okay, let's see. Let's start from the beginning. Okay, so right away, I, I, I really like this. I think it's super cool. And I should probably just shut up so you guys can see it. Yeah, so this is just like one art piece. There's a whole bunch of other ones. And this is just one that I really like just because I like the whole idea and the whole concept of him just walking down a hallway. And it's, it's just very simple, but there's something that I really like about it. And I like the, how you can see the whole image through the, the reflection through the actual uh, helmet. And I really like like the sound, the sound design, like the, the music that they chose for this. I think it's a very immersive feeling. And this is just like one example of crypto crypto art and I think that it's really cool. So yeah, this one was really cool. It's called Genesis.001 by Mika Johnson. But this one was one that I thought was really cool. Mad Dog Jones, I think that's the name of the artist, Mad Dog Jones. And this is his art piece called Boardwalk. And this one sold for $400,000 or $388,888. And you know, people are bidding money for this. So they started out at $100,000 and then people are bidding up and up and up and up. Reached to $388,000 and I was just like, whoa. Just imagine spending all that money for a piece of art. But I was looking at this art piece and I think it's really cool. I really like the colors. I really like the, the soundtrack. I really like the reflections and I'm gonna actually click on it so you guys can actually see it. So let's put it in full screen. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna shut up so you guys can actually see it. Okay, let me shut up. have like a little station for it I think that it would be cool and the thing is that when you buy these things you get a you get this thing called a, you get this thing called a non-fungible token let me actually press pause so you guys can hear me shit I don't know if you guys can hear me okay so the really cool thing about this is that when you actually buy an art piece here because it's super rare you get this thing called a non-fungible token and basically it uses ethereum to to make the transaction or I'm not really too sure how it works but Basically, you're the you're the owner of this art piece. So obviously, like I can hit, I can just right click and save image as, and I can have the art piece. But it's kind of like you know, once you buy it for three hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars, you're like the official owner of it. So it's like it's like if you own a Pokemon card, like why would you pay one million dollars for a piece of paper on a on a like a piece of paper, right? Basically, the Pokemon is just a piece of paper, but you're paying for the artwork, all right, right? And you're paying for like the sentiment that that card has, right? Or like the Mona Lisa, like why would someone pay millions of dollars for the Mona Lisa? That's kind of like the thing with this. So I, I, what I've, from what I've been seeing, a lot of people are moving into buying digital assets like cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin. People are buying Bitcoin, that's a digital asset. Or like people are buying crypto art right here. This is a digital asset. And there's also this other game called Earth 2. And I'll actually show you guys really quick just so you guys can see what that is. Like this gaming company created this video game where you, where you can actually go and just buy a digital land and it's a digital asset. 
So basically they have a map of the world and you can go into anywhere anywhere in the world and you can buy a tile. So the world the world is is div divided into these small tiles and then you can select whatever tires tiles you want to buy and then you can actually pay for it r with real money and you can actually like make money from this asset. And at first I was kind of skeptical about it, but now I'm seeing that a lot of people are actually playing it and making a lot of money from it. So just something to think about. It's just really cool to see like how our society is changing and how like people are using technology like yeah just how people are using technology it's like it amazes me by like how creative people are and i think that the crypto art is like super cool because for the like i, I think i already said this i think it's super cool because it really allows artists to sell their own art pieces directly to the art collectors without having to to go through a middle person 